Fidelity's guideline aim to save at least 15% of your pre-tax income each year for retirement, which includes any employer match. Remember, your personal target saving rate may vary depending on a variety of factors, including when you plan to retire, your retirement lifestyle, when you started saving, and how much you've already saved. Who doesn't have a retirement dream? Yours may be as simple as sleeping late or riding your bike on a sunny afternoon, or as daring as jumping out of a plane at age 90. Living your retirement dream the way you want means saving now, and saving enough so you don't have to worry about money in retirement. But how much is enough? Our guideline aim to save at least 15% of your pre-tax income one each year, which includes any employer match. That's assuming you save for retirement from age 25 to age 67. Together with other steps, that should help ensure you have enough income to maintain your current lifestyle in retirement. How did we come up with 15%? First, we had to understand how much people generally spend in retirement. After analyzing enormous amounts of national spending data, we concluded that most people will need somewhere between 55% and 80% of their pre-retirement income to maintain their lifestyle in retirement. Point one. Not all of that money will need to come from your savings, however. Some will likely come from Social Security. So, we did the math and found that most people will need to generate about 45% of their retirement income, before taxes, from savings. Based on our estimates, saving 15% each year from age 25 to 67 should get you there. If you are lucky enough to have a pension, your target savings rate may be lower. Here's a hypothetical example. Consider Joanna, age 25, who earns $54,000 a year. We assume her income grows 1.5% a year, after inflation, to about $100,000 by the time she is 67 and ready to retire. To maintain her pre-retirement lifestyle throughout retirement, we estimate that about $45,000 each year, adjusted for inflation, or 45% of her $100,000 pre-retirement income, needs to come from her savings. The remainder would come from Social Security. Because she takes advantage of her employer's 5% dollar-for-dollar match on her 401k contributions, she needs to save 10% of her income each year, starting with $5,400 this year, which gets her to 15% of her current income. Is 15% enough? That depends, of course. On the choices you make before retirement, most importantly, when you start saving and when you retire. Any other income sources you may have, such as a pension, should also be considered. Now that you know a savings rate to consider. Here are some steps to think about that can help you get to it. 1. Start early. The single most important thing you can do is start saving early. The earlier you start, the more time you have for your investments to grow and recover from the market's inevitable downturns. If retirement is decades away, it may be hard to think or care about it. But when you are young is precisely the time to start saving for retirement. Even though it can be a challenge to save for the future. Giving your savings those extra years to grow could make the struggle worth it. Every little bit you can save helps. 2. Delay Retirement Our 15% savings guideline assumes that a person retires at age 67 which is when most people will be eligible for full Social Security benefits. If you don't plan to work that long, you will likely need to save more than 15% a year. If you plan to work longer, all things being equal, your required saving rate could be lower. Other steps to take. The road to retirement is a journey. And there are steps you can take along the way to catch up. Here are six tips to get started. Let Uncle Sam help. Make the most of tax-advantaged savings accounts like traditional 401, K, S, and IRAs. Your contributions are made before tax, reducing your current taxable income. Meaning you get a tax break the year you contribute. Plus, that money can grow tax-free until you withdraw it in retirement, when it will be taxed as ordinary income. With Roth 401, K, S, and IRAs, your contributions are after tax. 
but you can withdraw the money tax-free in retirement, assuming certain conditions are met. Point four: If you have a high-deductible health plan, HDHP, eligible for a health savings account, HSA, consider contributing to an HSA to cover current and future health care expenses. HSA contributions are pre-tax and tax-deductible. Plus, when you use money saved in an HSA on qualified medical expenses now or in retirement, the withdrawals of contributions and any investment returns are tax-free. 2. For a starting age of 30 with no existing retirement savings and a retirement age of 67, the savings rate target increases to 18%. Similarly, the target increases to 23% for a starting age of 35 and a retirement age of 67. See footnote 3 for investment growth assumptions. 3. Fidelity has developed a series of salary multipliers in order to provide participants with one measure of how their current retirement savings might be compared to potential income needs in retirement. The salary multiplier suggested is based solely on your current age. In developing the series of salary multipliers corresponding to age, Fidelity assumed age-based asset allocations consistent with the equity glide path of a typical target date retirement fund, a 15% savings rate, a 1.5% constant real wage growth. 4. A distribution from a Roth IRA or Roth 401k is federally tax-free and penalty-free provided the five-year aging requirement has been satisfied and one of the following conditions is met, age 59 and a half, disability, qualified first-time home purchase, or death. 5. With respect to federal taxation only. Contributions, investment earnings, and distributions may or may not be subject to state taxation. 6. Fidelity's suggested total pre-tax savings goal of 15% of annual income assumes a starting age of 25 through an assumed retirement age of 67. To potentially support a replacement annual income rate equal to 45% of pre-retirement annual income, which includes any employer match. Using the same assumptions, contributing 1% of income every year from age 25 to age 67 was found